Today I'm going to dedicate this episode um, towards my cat Max. Today is his birthday and he would turn eight today. Two years ago, unfortunately, my cat Max has been stolen from me in a covert, manipulative way that was orchestrated by Satan and his demonic cohorts operating through the covert gang stocking program through evil agents, through evil human agents. I just put it that way. So I have not seen my cat for two years and I pray for my cat on a daily basis with the leading of the Holy Spirit and with the help of God. And I know my cat Max's life is in God's hands, is in his hands. So I'm trusting God to take care of my cat Max, despite of the outcome. My cat Max was targeted just like I'm being targeted through the covert gang stocking program. And my cat Max was the only friend that I ever had in my life. The only true, real friend, Feline friend that I ever had that was loyal to me unconditionally kind and loving and supportive of me unconditionally and loved me unconditionally and liked me unconditionally unlike most people that hate me without a cause so my cat Max has been stolen from me by the devil by the devil and his demonic cohorts operating through the covert gang stocking program that I'm being persecuted through so I know that my cat Max is in God's hands. I have put my cat Max in God's hands a long time ago. His life is in my Heavenly Father's hands. My cat Max's life is in my Father's hands, my Heavenly Father's hands. So Father, I thank you for taking care of my cat Max and I just wanna take this time today to pray and lift up my cat Max up to you, Father God. He's eight years old. I don't know whether he's alive or not, but Father God, I thank you whether he's alive or not, that your hands is with him and his life is upon you, Father God. Your life, my cat Max's life is in your hands. My cat Max is in your hands, Father God. So I lift up my cat Max up to you, my Heavenly Father, Jehovah Yah, Jehovah God, my Father in Heaven that created heaven and earth and everything and that also created my wonderful cat Max and I thank you for the time length that you allow this wonderful creature this wonderful creature that you have created Max to be in my life for all those length of years Father God before the devil stole him from me covertly so Father God I thank you for looking out for my cat Max today whether he's on this earth or in heaven with you Father God, only you know where he is and you know the real outcome and the real scope of this whole thing and the injustices of this, Father God. And I pray, Father God, that you will send your angels to encamp around my cat Max today and to love on him and to protect my cat from all evil, danger, and harm. My cat Max, because he's been targeted too, and this is why I use him as a motto, picture on my podcasts on Anchor and Spreaker because my cat was has been targeted and stolen from me. So animals do get targeted as well, Father God, from any TI that's being persecuted through the covert gain stocking program or other slavery programs. Their pets get targeted, their children get targeted as well as their family members. So, Father God, in my case, my cat Max got targeted by the enemy from evil human agents operating through the covert gang stocking program. So, Father, I just thank you so much, Father God, that you're bringing justice for my cat Max and justice for me. And I pray that you will bless my cat Max, Father God, today on his wonderful day that he was born, Father God. That you will bless him, Father God, on his birthday and that you would just make sure that he has a blessed birthday, especially if he's still living, Father God. And if he's still with this family that stole 
this couple that stole him from me. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray, Father God, that things will go well for him and that you will pour and cover my cat Max with the blood of Jesus Christ from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet with the blood of Jesus Christ that you will cover my cat Max's spirit, soul, and body and life and his health with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name that you will preserve my cat Max's health and life and my cat Max with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name and that you will cover my cat Max's spirit, soul, and body, his life, his health, his personality, his will, his intellect, his body, his bones, his blood, his marrow, his bodily inward intestines, uh, his blood, the cat Max's blood, and his eyes, and his teeth, and his gums, uh, with the blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will cover my cat Max's personality and will with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. And I pray, Father God, that you will surround my cat Max with your love and your kindness and peace and your presence. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you release your angels of comfort to cap- comfort my cat on every side. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray that you release your guardian angels to protect my cat Max today and every day, 24-7 today and every day from all evil, danger, and harm. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray that you will send your warrior angels to war against all evil entities and deities that rise up against my cat Max. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray, Heavenly Father God, that you will shower and impart your love upon my cat Max and shower my cat with your favor and your love and your kindness and your mercies and your graces. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, today and every day, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will shower my cat Max's, Father God, my cat Max with your favor, with your favor, I'm yet to say blessings, with blessings, Father God, upon my cat Max in Jesus Christ's name. But favor is even great too, as I said, favor before. And so, Father God, I just pray that you would just love on my cat Max today and every day, and that you will impart your love upon him and your kindness upon him and your tender graces and mercies upon my cat. Max, and I'm stressing this over, I said this earlier, but I just want to stress on that because my cat Max, where he's at, he needs a lot of love, and that she would just send your angels to encamp around my cat today, every day, every minute of the day, every day, Father God, to protect my cat from evil intruders, from evil predators, from evil spirited people, from hurting him in any kind of way. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I pray that you will show my cat that I love him and I I always will love him and care about him and I miss him dearly and I never wanted him to leave me nor, Father God, uh, be separated from me. I put it that way, separated from me, but, but the devil was the cause of separating him from me and separating me from him. Father God, through this evil couple, Father God, that covertly stole him from me and wouldn't give him back to me when I got on my foot and got my place back. Father God, and the agreement was when I got my place, I was supposed they were supposed to give me my cat back, back and they wouldn't give him back to me when I got my place in a couple months after. Father God, I pray, Father God, that you release your judgment and your vengeance on this couple that stole my cat from me covertly and upon the evil human agents of Satan that set this whole thing up for me to be homeless, to lose my cat, for me to be stranded at an airport, Father God, when I moved out of state, Father God. To lose my cat for this whole setup that the evildoers set up from the previous state that I lived in before I moved to the next state with me and my cat to steal my cat from me covertly. I pray that you release your judgment and wrath upon these evil human agents of Satan that set this whole thing up and coordinated against me and told 
a renter, a landlord not to rent to me. So myself and my cat, Max, will be homeless in a different, in a new state where we knew nobody in Jesus Christ's name. And for the evil couple that set up things at the airport for me to be escorted by the police so they could get my cat, Max, for me. And lying to me, saying that they will give him back to me, pretending like they cared about me and my cat, Max, when they didn't, Father God. They did this out of selfish gain and profit. And I pray, Father God, for this couple that you release your judgment and vengeance and wrath and indignation upon this couple for lying to me and deceiving me, Father God, at the airport and set me up at the airport. In Jesus Christ's name, at the information booth, along with the other human agents of Satan that participating and played upon this, that played upon this were players in this situation and organizers and coordinators in this situation, Father God, regarding my cat Max and humiliating me at the airport with the police, Father God and Jesus Christ, and also just setting it up for, for me to be homeless in the first place when I had a place to come to the next state, but they interjected that and caused this landlord not to rent to me, Father God, behind closed doors. You saw how they manipulated things behind closed doors that caused me to be homeless and caused me and my cat to be homeless and caused me to lose my cat and to be in and up living in a shelter for a while and then caused me to be homeless even more and causing me to get out of the shelter behind witchcraft attacks and manipulations behind that and coordinations behind that, Father God, behind human agents of Satan and the devil and his demons doing this to me. I pray that you release your judgment and vengeance and wrath upon Satan and his demonic cohorts for causing this whole situation to happen to me. That you will boomerang it back to the devil and the demons that caused this situation for me to be homeless and lose my cat and not be able to see him again. I pray that you release your judgment and vengeance and wrath upon Satan and his demonic cohorts for doing this to me, Father God, and that you will boomerang it right back to the devil, Father God, and his demonic cohorts, and that you release the distress and duress upon the devil and his demonic cohorts, Father God, and the persecutions back on the devil and his demonic cohorts for doing this to me and my cat Max and separating me and my cat Max from each other and causing me not to see my cat that released the agony, the agony and the thievery back, Father God, and that you will boomerang it back to the perpetrators that did this to me in the covert gain stocking program, that you will boomerang it back to the coordinators and the evil plotters, Father God, that organized this and orchestrated this against me and my cat Max in Jesus Christ's name and upon all the perp players that played along with this Father God, including the couple that stole my cat from me, that pretended to be Christians when they're not, Father God, and pretended to care about me and my cat when they don't, and have turned against me and have manipulated things by emails, Father God, against me. Gmails, well not Gmails, but text messages, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray that you will boomerang it back on this couple, Father God, for what they did to me and my cat Max and separating myself and my cat Max from each from <clears throat> each other, Father God. And I pray that you will hold them accountable and release your judgment and wrath and vengeance upon this couple who stole my cat Max from me and who set me up at the airport, Father God. And upon all the evil coordinators and players that set this whole thing up behind witchcraft, behind manipulations and games and schemes and setups, evil plottings. And coordinations, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will boomerang it right back to them. That you will boomerang every evil thing that they have caused between myself and my cat, Max, Father God, and the agonies and duress that they have put on me with bringing me, making me homeless and making my cat, Max, homeless and stuff and messing me up financially, Father God, and Causing so much humiliation and shame in my life, Father God, concerning homelessness and, and the setup at the airport.